To see the alternate ending in Dead Space, you simply need to collect all 12 marker fragments in New Game Plus. So we're gonna find the first one here in the maintenance bay office in the first chapter. When you enter this room, you're gonna see the office over here that doesn't have power. Now you've played through this game already once in order to get to New Game Plus, so you're familiar with this section. To unlock this, you just go take the elevator, lift at the end here, interact with the circuit breaker and then return to that room and we can find our first marker fragment in there now again the marker fragments are only a new game plus and once you find all 12 of them you have to place them in a specific location after that you just have to complete the game and you'll see the alternate ending and get the trophy so still off trying to find our first marker fragment we are nearly there Okay, once we're in here, you're going to see the data board, which is a story related object. So you will have to come in here and on the shelf in the corner is going to be the marker fragment in the corner. You can see it's glowing purple. We can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. Melee the shelf in order to uh, reach it or you can use Kinesis to pull it out. Okay, so marker fragment two is going to be in chapter two. The uh, objective is find a shock pad. So we're going to head into Dr. Kine's office on the first floor of this lab area. And we're going to have to use Kinesis to move a shelf and we will find the fragment hidden in this room. The next marker fragment will be in chapter three. This is in the engine room where you have to manually ignite the engine. Now you're going to find this one behind the little power station over here where you got to find the, the plug and put it in there. Right in the center of this room. Well, go behind it and we will find the marker. Next up, head to chapter four and you're going to have an objective to reroute power from electrical systems. So we're at this bridge area and we're going to head towards the break room so we are on the third floor you will travel to a few of the different floors we're going to pass the save station you will see the break room to the right is one of the more interesting rooms it has a lot of character in it it's a bit scary but you will find the marker right there in front of the, the wall Okay, in Chapter 5, you're going to have to lift the lockdown. You're going to find this one in Dr. Mercer's office. So when you're heading through the intensive care unit, which is right in front of me, we're going to come out the other side, and you're going to see a save location on the wall. Dr. Mercer's office will be just opposite to the right. And you should very clearly see the marker right next to the text log. Now there's also a second one here in chapter five, and this is while you're trying to acquire the liquid nitrogen. Now for this, you're gonna to travel to the cryogenics lab. This is the area where you have to trap the hunter in it. In or on top of the, of the chamber itself is going to be the marker fragment. You're gonna to have to use Kinesis to pull it down. You can see I got a tissue sample still in there. That is part of a side quest you'll need to do. Unless it's new game plus in which you might not need to do it. There you go. That is the marker fragment in second one in chapter five. Now in chapter six, you're going to have to inject a bunch of Weezers. There are these things that you have to inject with an enzyme in order to clear the, the green fog. Now this one's going to be at the very top of this area where you got to kind of fly around. Once you're up here, you're going to see a collectible, a text log, and you're going to see the marker over there in the corner. But I just want to show you the sixth Weezer here that you're going to inject with the enzyme just to give you a little context of the area in which we're in. Sometimes the areas where you fly around can be a bit confusing. Okay, so let's just go ahead and fly over to the opposite corner, pick up this marker fragment. We've been in here long enough. Okay, so the eighth marker fragment is going to be uh, in chapter seven while you have to find the SOS beacon. So I'm going to the end of this hall, there's a locked door. Just simply have to wait it out and it'll eventually unlock itself. This is right after you've gained the security level three clearance. So we're going to enter the mineral samples area. 
And you see the uh, master override door here. This is security level three. You want to go inside of there. There's the location there on the map. Just wanted to pop that in there for you. I forgot to show you earlier. Go ahead inside of here. We'll find the fragment on the shelf right in front of you. Okay, so in chapter eight, you're going to head outside and have to activate the comms array. A pretty notable location. You won't have any problem remembering this. Go over to the far left side of the room. You're going to see this little opening in the wall. You can see in there is a purple glow. We're going to just pull that out with Kinesis and grab that for our ninth marker. So marker number 10, we're going to find in chapter 10, we have to destroy the tendril in the deluxe quarters. The deluxe quarters area, there is a little plug here, the energy source. We are going to use this to put it into a circuit breaker at the end of the hall. And then we're going to be able to unlock the door in the room to our left, the main room nearby. When you put this in here, or as you come over here, you're going to be ambushed. Be careful, it's scripted. Okay, interact with the first circuit. Turn the doors on. At this point, you can destroy the tendril that's in the deluxe quarter, which is up here. It should be the last thing you do in this area because it'll trigger an event. So we'll go in through the next door and you're going to see the blue line on the other side of the room here. Those doors are now unlocked. We will go inside here and I'll find the marker in the corner. I could have probably gone into the other door, but there it is. Also in chapter 10, when you need to destroy the tendril in chief steward's office, you're going to come here and you're going to see him on the other side of this glass. He's going to walk around and talk for a couple minutes and eventually walk out of the room unlocking the door in front of us. Once you go into the next broom, the marker will be just in front of you on a desk. All right, the last one we're gonna find is in chapter 11. I wanna make sure you're aware, do not finish chapter 11 until after you finish this little quest we're doing. So engaging the cargo crane is our objective. This is where you gotta move the marker all the way around the room. And the one corner is gonna be a marker fragment. Now. Again, do not go to the point of no return. We need to go place the markers instead. And we're going to head over to Captain Matthias' office. So from our current location, head back to the tram. Go to the crew quarters. And I will go ahead and just kind of walk you through this little backtracking expedition that we're on. We're going to go through the crew deck here common area there's gonna be a bunch of enemies in here on my return i did not expect them but we're gonna go through that door in front of me here in a moment in the left corner of the room there we go central nexus is what it's labeled now we're gonna take this to the first floor i know i did it quick but select the first floor you were on the second floor continue in now we're gonna take this lift back up to the executive area We're going to pass the shop and you're going to pass the save point on the wall. Keep circling around to the right and we'll enter the next door. Okay, in the executive quarter, you're going to find Captain Matthias's office. It's going to be to the left side of the room. There will be some enemies in here. You're going to, we're going to have to clear them. Once you've cleared them, we're going to just go through the, uh, the, uh, her office door. And then you'll see a table. It'll be very obvious where you're going to place these things. Now, I'm not going to spoil the whole um, alternate ending. I'll let you guys enjoy that on your own. I just want to show you how to get it, how to get the trophy, so you can go and get your platinum. But here is the captain's office. You can see the display on the table. Not here, of course, in your first playthroughs. This is only available in New Game Plus. But there we go. Once you've done that, you can now go finish the game. Go finish Chapter 11 and then go Chapter 12, and you will pop both the trophies. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe.